Hey, what's going on guys? Today we have this 13 inch mid 2010 MacBook Pro. It's a little bit dirty, so I feel like we should clean it. Ah, there we go. Looks so much better. Now, you saw from the title of this video that I was going to downgrade this MacBook Pro from High Sierra back down to OS X Mountain Lion. So to start, we're going to open it up and we're going to turn it on. Now that we're at the desktop, we can now begin the downgrade process. We don't need tools in this video, so we're going to put that aside because all we're going to need is this a data 120 gigabyte ssd and a sata to usb adapter before we begin i'm gonna show you guys the specs of this macbook 2.4 gigahertz intel core 2 duo 6 gigabytes of ram and nvidia geforce 320m graphics now with that out of the way we can shut down now we're going to move it over here take our adapter and plug it into the usb port and connect the sata end right here now what we're gonna do is we're going to power it up and we're gonna hold down a key the option key we're gonna do it when it does the little chime there we go EFI boot. <laughs> oh yeah, EFI boot, because I tried to install macOS, I think it was Big Sur or something on here, and it failed. We're gonna go to recovery of Catalina. Or not Catalina, I'm fucking stupid. Hi Sierra. Now what we're gonna do is go to disk utility. This has a 250 gigabyte hard drive installed, so we're going to erase nothing was really on this hard drive anyway so i don't really care about wiping it this isn't even my main laptop i have a 2015 macbook pro so now we're gonna restore maybe i should change the name of this first so i don't fuck up this drive internal there we go now we're gonna restore untitled and there we go i can't wait to see this when it's done And there we go. We are finally complete after who knows how long. Now we are going to shut down. I should have probably ejected the SSD first, but that's fine. We're just gonna press the power button. We're gonna wait for it to do the chime again. We're gonna hold down the option button. Yes, beautiful. Ah, that's perfect. I love to see that screen. Now we're just gonna move this back to the center. Can't wait to see that beautiful OS X Mountain Lion desktop. Yes. Ooh, look at that. We're on OS X Mountain Lion. Then maybe wondering, can you even use OS X Mountain Lion in 2023? I know Apple had that whole thing where the App Store was shut down on older versions of OS X and iOS. Let's see if that's still true. Oh no, look at that. It loaded just fine. Look at that. It's a bit laggy, but um, it works. As for web browsing, the Safari browser isn't really going to be a good option for that, considering that. <laughs> And if we try to load YouTube, it'll say, yeah, update your browser. If you press remind me later, it looks all broken and you can't really do anything. I have learned that there's this thing called Firefox Legacy. And then we're going to click the first result. As you can see, it's something for Snow Leopard, Lion, and Mountain Lion. So we're going to download the one for Mountain Lion. And now we exit Safari. Downloads, Firefox Legacy, frick, yeah, Mac OS and their security stuff when you download things. Yeah, yeah, just open it. There you go, we have a working web browser. Welcome to Firefox Legacy. Now, let's try to go to YouTube. It's very slow, but as you can see, it actually loaded the YouTube web page. Now let's try to watch a video on here. Let's watch a Dank Pods video. Okay, so it plays, however, there's white bars, so 
if you don't mind that, then Firefox Legacy is a good alternative. If you need a browser, you can use that. <laughs> and with that, I think that's about time to wrap up this video. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure you give a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.